Today I'm back up on the mansion site. I'm using the E-Track. But you'll notice something different about it. There's no wires coming out to these headphones. I'm actually testing some new wireless headphones. And I've got a signal here. Hopefully you'll be able to hear this. That's certainly loud enough in my head. There's a slight delay when I go over it, possibly a quarter of a second or so, so if I'm going fast and the target's here, it might read it here. To check it, slow it down a little bit, it finds it bang on. This is reading 1245, so I'm going to give it a dig and hopefully it'll be a good signal because that's a nice reading on the E-Track. I've dug there before by the looks of it. That's going to look suspicious, isn't it? That's going to look suspicious. <laughs> I've actually dug here before. There's no point trying to hide the fact. But that's a clod of earth that's come out. Whatever I dug out of here five or six days ago, the last time I was up, I've obviously missed something, so I haven't checked the hole properly. Now that's interesting. There's a bottle top. And a modern two pence. Here's a quick test with some surface targets. We've got a 1902 threepenny bit, silver, here. A 1957 sixpence, which isn't silver. And a 1971 two pence. So this will give you some idea of what the signals are like when I'm going fast and when I'm going slow. So first of all, we'll start with a big one, which is the two pence. When I'm going fast, there's a little bit of a delay. It still picks the signal up perfectly, but there's a slight delay possibly around about a quarter of a second or so. As soon as you slow down, bring the coil back slower, it picks the target up straight away, no problem at all. So the coin's here. See, you can still locate the target fine, and pinpointing's not a problem as long as you slow down a little bit. Now onto the sixpence. Exactly the same story with that. Now onto the tiny little threepenny bit. No problems at all. When you're digging hole after hole after hole on a site, there's no worse when you've got cables linking your machine to your head. You're putting this down, you're getting your spade, you're tripping over the cable. It's just awful. That's why I really fell in love with the Deus, because it's wireless. Now that the E-Track is wireless, I think I might be starting to use it quite a lot more. I found another target here. The target itself is actually here. If I go over fast, it reads it as about there. As soon as I slow down, it reads it exactly where it is. That little quarter second delay does make a difference. So you've got to slow down just a tiny little bit when you're looking for the target. But I'm very confident that the target is here. It's reading 1232, which is possibly small silver or hapenny sort of territory or it could just be trash you never know but I'm gonna give it a dig and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pass the headphones near to the camera so you can hear exactly what an in-ground target sounds like through the wireless headphones bear in mind that the target is here where this piece of sheep dung is Yep, 
pretty sure it's just here. Big lump of plastic. <laughs> and a big bottle top. But it did locate it precisely. Here's another decent target reading 1244. Easy enough to pinpoint and I just hope that this one isn't a bottle top. And it's a one pence. Here's another one just back from where I've dug. This is reading 1043. Again, pretty easy to pinpoint, just had to slow down a little bit. And in this one, we've got a coin ball. Please don't let it be a penny. Yeah, it's a two pence. Well, apparently this one is in the sod somewhere. I think this was reading 12.30 or thereabouts, but it was jumping around quite badly. And I'm not quite sure what that is. I thought it was an earring. But I don't know. It's a very long dangly one if it is an earring. This is a very good loud signal, reading 10.38 one way, 12.38 the other way. So I'm hoping it's an old penny or possibly, possibly nice silver. Ah, another bottle top. This one's reading 12.45, picked it up no problem. Hopefully I've pinpointed it well enough as well. Should be here. Looks like another coin ball. So we'll see what's in it. <gasps> Possibly pre-decimal? No. It's another modern two pence. And check out that imprint. I think this one's a ring pull, but we shall see. It's a small lump of lead. So I'll just briefly explain how this works. Under normal circumstances, you would have a wire leading from here to your headphones, which meant that it was a wired connection. So when you got a target and your spade was lying over there, you'd have to put that down, take your headphones off, get your speed, come back. Here, you don't have to. You've got a little sender unit that plugs into your headphone socket. And the great thing about this woodland camo cover is, you've got a little pocket there. That just fits in there out the way. And in the earphones, you've got a receiver. So all you do, switch that on, keep the button pressed, switch this fella on, keep the button pressed, different lights flash, the pair with each other and you're good to go. They've got a roughly 10 meter range so you can go 10 meters away before you lose the connection. If you do lose the connection, like I did when I ran to the van before when I forgot my probe, all you do, turn them off, turn them back on and pair them again. It's really that simple. And I'm very impressed with these. Street in 13, 18, again, I think it's ring pull, but we'll see. Yep, another ring pull. This one's reading 12.22. I switched to the pinpoint mode, and while it still has that very slight delay, it supposedly has pinpointed it to here. And that's exactly where it is.
and it's yet another ring pull. <laughs> that was bang on there though. Now as you know, I like to use two detectors together. Normally I would have the Dios with the headphones and I'll be listening for the E-Track. This time I've got the E-Track with those new wireless headphones and the Dios just using the speaker. Hopefully this will work. problems with the first target. This is the first target. It's reading between 45 and 60 on the Deus and 12, 16 I think on the E-Track. And it's a lump of foil. I think this one's just a ring pull as well. It's reading 1017 on the A track and 65 to 67 on the Dios. Ah, it's actually a coin that one. A modern 10 pence. And there was no problems with the second target. I like this signal, it's reading 11.37 on the E-Track. And it's reasonably constant that way as well. Here's what it sounds like on the Dios. Actually quite weak on the Dios, but it's reading mid-70s on there. Definitely going to give this one a dig. Sounds a hell of a lot better on the E-Track than it does on the Dios. And because the Dios didn't really like that sort of signal, I think it might be deep, hence I'm going way down. And it is indeed a very deep signal. <laughs> it's a rusty nail from Oh, about 10 inches down. Right, so we had iron from about 10 inches down here. We've also got a shallower target here. <laughs> Half pence, a little bugger. But the E-Track still managed to find that even though there was iron in the same hole. The Deus was a little bit more tricky, um, which I'm surprised at because the Deus is meant to be better round iron. Yes, it is indeed another ring pull, but finding it with this wireless headphones isn't a problem. You do get that slight delay when you initially pick the signal up when you're swinging quite fast. Slow down a little bit and it locates it no problem at all. Dios isn't too keen on that one. It's a little bit tricky on the E-Track as well, but it's going to get dug. It's bouncing around the top quarter of the screen, but it's diving down at the iron, so it's possibly something very deep or rubbish. And it is something rubbish, and it is something deep. It's a deep ring pull. I can see the wireless headphones being fine for pasture, uncontaminated beach, woodland and so on, where you're not getting targets every six inches. Because then you can go a canny speed, get a target, 
slow it down, locate it and dig it. In a park that's very busy, you've got ring pulls, foil, all manner of coins, just general rubbish, you're going to have to slow right down if you're using the wireless headphones. But apart from that, I find them excellent. Just one quick thing that I forgot to mention is, the sender comes with two different jacks. So you've got the little one, and you've got the big one. The big one fits in the e-track, the smaller one will fit into other machines. That charges by USB, and that goes to a three pin plug, which you can plug the other end of the USB in. You charge it with your computer, or charge it straight from the mains. Comes with either a two pin plug, or by using the supplied adapter, you can plug it straight into a three pin plug for English use. In a similar way, the headphones also charge by USB, and each thing takes. And once you've got these fellas charged and you're using them, they should last between six to possibly eight hours. I do like them, like. No, this is how bad my memory is. I can't remember setting it away to record. It is recording. Honestly, it's shot. Absolutely shot. That's why there's so many I out. I might have you as a client, yeah. <laughs> yeah no. That's why there's so many outtakes. Like. I always get excited when the bottle tops come up, you know. Unless you're in a really very trashy site where there's a million signals and you would need to slow down anyway, what I was going to see. Outtake. <laughs> Bit of a bummer. <laughs> I've got to wait for that to strike 10 now. <laughs> Just get rid of the lawnmower. <laughs> no, no, the lawnmower's gone now, the clock's mm. starting. It's like whenever I'm videoing anything at my place, a bloody pheasant comes and starts squawking on. <laughs> <laughs> 